Hi, I'm here to do a short review today on the Swan Retro Rotisserie Worktop and Convection Oven. Um, the oven was sent to me a few days ago by 80.com um, to do a short review on it. Um, up to there, everything's good. I will just um, go through some details with you. As you can see, it's a retro looking oven, as it should be. Um, looks very much like a American diner type oven. Um, it works off a standard 13 amp 240 volt plug. Um, it's not much bigger than a standard microwave. Um, the controls um, are from 100 degrees up to 230 degrees. A nice and easy turn there. Um, we have six settings on the oven itself. Um, we have off which is the top square and it's totally off. Then we have convection which is top and bottom heating. Then we have convection top heating only. Then we have no convection just top and bottom heating. On the fifth setting we have it's a top heating element with rotisserie and then on the last one we have top and bottom heating elements with rotisserie also I'm going to keep it on here because I'm actually going to be putting a chicken in very soon and we'll look at the outcome of that later on um, it has a handy timer which goes up to one hour, 60 minutes you can put in 10 minute increments or in between if you just want like 12 minutes just put it in between um, the oven itself is a pull down oven here um, as I say, the oven is on at the moment, um, so it is very, very hot, so I don't want to touch in. Um, the oven comes with a few bits with it. Um, we have a tray, a, sorry, a wire rack, um, which goes in, there is one, two, three different shelf levels. We also have a drip tray, again mainly we put on the bottom level, um, but I suppose if you just want to toast something you can probably just put it in the top there, so that's that. And we also have obviously the handle to take the trays in the hot when they're very hot. Um, we also have one I prepared earlier. A rotisserie um, bar with the clamps that go into the meat that you're cooking. Today I'm cooking chicken as said, uh, so that's ready prepared. It also has here, this is a, a handle to get your rotisserie in and out of the oven. So I am actually going to put it in now. Um, firstly, I need to be putting my drip tray in. I don't want that going anywhere, do we? So, we'll slide the drip tray onto the bottom, like so. And then we'll use the rotisserie handle. We'll just turn the oven off for a second because the rotisserie is actually spinning at the moment. So, we'll turn that off. We'll now insert the rotisserie, there's a square peg at that side and the slot at that side there. I think we might have to try and lower that tray down a little bit. I'm not sure whether we can. No, this hasn't worked, has it? So we'll take it back out again. Quite a large bird, really. It's weighing at 1.4 kilo, so um, yeah, so we're actually struggling a little bit there to get the bird in properly, but it will go go in. Let's go in there. Let's see how we go. With that. So I'm going to close the oven up. Let's put 
put it back onto rotisserie top and bottom heating. We want to set the oven to an hour and it's 200 degrees we want this at. Now as you can see you probably can't see actually um, the bread is turning at the moment. Yeah, we're turning, that's everything's fine. Um, so all in all, yes, the oven has been very good so far. Um, we've done multitude of foods in it over like two or three days we've had it. Um, a few downsides to it, I will, will say, is um, it doesn't have an interior light. Uh, you do struggle putting when you're putting like your bread in like I just have done, trying to line it up. So could really do an interior light and um, we have that um, also it does actually have a sticker on top of you saying that it can get hot um, to tell you the truth it gets very very hot um, so make sure there's no children pets around it at the time I mean, you shouldn't have pets on your worktop anyway but um, um, and the other bad point I suppose is the timer only goes up to an hour um, this bread is a two hour cook so I will have to come back in and turn the oven back on because as soon as the timer stops it turns the oven off uh, so you won't be able to put it on and nip out you would have to be here all the time anyway and um, apart from that I'd, I'd say it's very handy to have um, we're a family of five so we do have different shelves going on different times in our main oven this is a good backup oven or if you just want to get quick and easy it's not where it's at Six something in straight away. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a break here while the bird cooks. I'll see you again in a couple of hours and we'll see how it's, how it's turned out. Okay? Cheers. Hi, I'm back again. Um, the bell has just rung for the two hour timer. Well, it's actually one hour timer, but I put it on twice, as I said earlier. Um, the chicken should never be cooked, so we'll open the door and we'll have a quick look. It smells good. too bad um, yeah so now I'm just going to go off, off for my tea and eat my chicken um, all in all yes I will give it about 8 out of 10 um, I would recommend it to friends family and yourselves obviously you're looking at it thinking of buying it I would say yes go for it the two points dropped is basically for the hot hot sides and top um, the timer only being for one hour where I had to come in halfway through cooking this and reset it and also having no light but all in all I think it's a very very handy extra oven to have um, so all I can say to this now is go ahead buy it get on AO.com purchase it delivery is within a couple of days you get a one hour time slot really good friendly delivery um, go for it so here we go happy cooking